Hey YouTube, how you doing? Kevin here coming at you with another video. Okay, today we're going to talk about 6 volt batteries and um, do's and don'ts. Okay, so first off, these are very hard batteries to test. Okay, and I'm going to tell you why they're hard. You can't load test them. Okay, they're, they're very light duty and sometimes they you charge them up and they just don't hold a charge. And then uh, you're sitting there saying to yourself, okay, what do I do? Well, I have a Mac conductance tester. And this right here, test batteries without putting a load on them. And you can't use it because it doesn't do 6 volt. It just does 12. And the downside to this is, it just is low on the screen and you don't know if the battery's good or bad. Okay? So there's that one. Then, it's the charging. How do you charge these batteries? Well, you need a 1 amp or one and a half amp. And this is a battery charger right here. It's got a picture of a motorcycle. And it tells your motorcycle battery charger. And then it's got a 12 volt. And then you can flip it over to a 6 volt. The only problem with this one right here is that this right here is not a smart charger. It will overcharge the battery. The battery could have a meltdown. And if you don't charge it for the proper amount of hours then it will definitely overheat the battery and destroy it. So this battery charger is kind of out. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use um, to charge a battery. And this battery charger is really, really cool. It's called the Battery Companion. Okay, and this thing right here is fully automatic battery charger. What this means is it shuts itself off. Maintain with float mode monitoring. So if you leave this on here on the battery, it will just basically, it will shut off. When it, when the green light comes on, it's charged. And it will say, um, it will say charged. And um, it does 12 volt and 6 volt. You can charge both. It's nice. It's one and a half amps. And it shuts itself off when the battery when it senses the battery is fully charged okay which is pretty cool so you know if you got a fully charged battery or not where the old style ones aren't you can get this at any auto parts store or Walmart or any of those type of stores okay but that does not tell you if the battery is good but it kind of does if your battery is below threshold it'll just stay green so if you have a dead battery it just says green that means there's a problem with it, okay? But what is the problem? Is it low on fluid? What exactly is the issue here? Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the battery. It's a six volt battery that you cannot um, load test. You can't tell if it's good or bad or ugly, you can't tell. So I'm gonna show you guys a cool little tester that you can get anywhere test these batteries at least you'll know the condition of the battery okay if you have a bad cell if the cells are all equal if the battery is fully charged or not now if you just put the battery on the charger you're gonna want to wait about 45 minutes to an hour let the battery calm down let the voltage drop back down to where it's supposed to be okay then over at Walmart they have these made by other style and they are a, uh, a mini battery tester and on the back it tells you if no balls are floating it's discharged one ball floating poor or 25 percent charge two balls fair to 50 percent three balls good or 75 percent and four balls are, fl are fully charged okay this is this does not discriminate against batteries you can use this on pretty much any liquid filled battery that's out there okay and it's got the uh, the writing on it and you can see the, the different balls that are inside there and those are set up for a specific gravity okay that's what they're called the gravity okay and what you're gonna do it comes with you now remember this is glass so you want to be keep it safe just pop a little tester on there you're gonna put it in as far as you can go squeeze it and then pull it out and see how many balls are floating and you're gonna do that to each each cell, and then read your um, battery, and then it'll tell you if your battery is good or bad. Um, a lot of people don't understand that 
Uh, well, I put it on a charger and my lights still aren't working or my horn keeps going dead or, or the lights don't stay bright. It could very well be your battery's junk. Or if it's dead shorted, that can make it very hard for your directionals to work and all that type of stuff too. So use one of these testers right here. It's the best way on these little 6 volt batteries to um, tell its condition. And you can just, you know, you take a pair of pliers, you pop it off. But I gotta warn you, okay, battery acid on your skin can hurt. Um, this right here will burn you. Even with 6 volts, it will burn. So, it is acid. And if the battery is low, you can use distilled water to fill it back up because the plates are impregnated with the acid. You're not going to lose that. You might lose the fluid, but you're not going to lose the acid. So, and then you got your, you could put up to the light and you can see where the low level is, the upper level. You're right in between there, right, in, right upper level and lower level, right in that range is good. Okay. And you never, ever, ever want to block off your vent when you're charging it. Um, and you should always have it hooked up to a drain on your bike. Um, because if, if you don't, this right here will puddle at the bottom of, of your, um, what do you call it there? Your battery tray and rot out your battery tray. And it's just, it's ugly. So, that's pretty much the way to test the batteries, um, on that. And there was also a, um, hold on one second. I had a lot of questions on 12 volt conversions. Um, I want to show you guys what this is. This is a little DIY um, 0511-12-48 watt. Uh, four, it's not 48 watts, I'm sorry, 48W. It's actually four amps. So I don't know what the wattage is, but um, basically you take that little battery right there and you put it on the inside and you'll get your you know whatever it is five six volts in and then 12 volts comes out and i want to show you guys how it works okay so for that one i'm going to see if i can just scoot you back here a little bit keep you keep you on that i'm working on the cable right now using a little multimeter Let's see if i can set this up it's a pretty cool little um See if you can see the numbers. Yes, you can. We're good to go there. So I'll stab this into here. See what this battery is putting out for voltage. All right, we got 606, 607. All right, so it's a low battery, but that's okay. We can still do with this. So we're going to take the input side right here. Where's this in? Black is going to go up to black. Put that on the installation there if I can. See if that makes a connection in a minute. Alright, I don't know if that's actually making a connection yet, but we're going to find out. And right there you have it guys if this was a fully charged battery that'd be reading 12 volts right now so right now i have six volts going into it and i have 1193 coming out of it and if it was just like a half a volt more which is where it should be at i'd be up over 12 right now so this works it's a real cool little item and um in case you guys want to use something like that but remember it's only four watts guys so you can't power your whole entire electrical system with it. You would basically have to have, um, this can't power a headlight, unless your headlight was four watts, uh, four amps. So, but I mean, you can power different things. Like if you had a, uh, a Viper gauge set, you wanted to put this on your bike for your Viper gauge and run uh, digital gauges. This right here would run the LED display on that. Um, so it's different things like that, you know. So it's easy to mount. It's uh, not very big, as you can see. My that's my pointy finger right there, and it's the base of my finger. Like sort of stuff that's hanging off of it. So it's um, I don't know. It's about an inch thick, about two inches long. So not too, not too bad. Easy to mount. 
but this that's an option that's an option for you right there if you have some small accessories or if you're gonna run LED directionals there you go um, you could you could definitely use that so let me move your part number again and I purchased this off of eBay so I typed in that black number on eBay and that's what I came up with and then this right here I just got this at Walmart and um, just a couple of tips on the battery and the 12 volt system and as always I like to save the containers throw them back in and keep them nice protected because it is glass especially when you have it in your toolbox and it's getting banged around you know what I mean so sorry for my voice I'm a little under the weather today I'm not feeling too good but clean up some stuff and I'm, I saw some stuff I'm like ah might as well do a video show off some stuff show you guys what I use the products and go from that you know go that route with it and uh, I figured I'd do one on the batteries because there's a lot of talk on batteries and charging and, and how to tell if it's good or not. And, you know, just because you got 6 volts across doesn't mean it's a strong 12 volt, uh, 6 volts. It could be a weak 6 volts. You know, you could put it on, you said 6 volts, you could hook it up and it could be dead. So, that's where this comes in right here and it can show you the, the, um, the quality of each cell. Which, which is what that's what matters. So, and that's pretty much it, which is what I got. Um, if you uh, are looking, if you have a 12 volt system, um, I'll show you a bad battery I got. Okay. I'll show you guys the difference. This is an AGM battery right here. And it, it's bad, but I'll show you. I'll show you that my, Mac tester. This is a very good tester. Clamp it on. Clamp it on. It's got a cool little blue display. Let me shut the slide up so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Hold on. Okay. We'll shut the light off so you can see the display. There we go. So I select enter. That's what the battery is reading right now. 12.71. So click on enter. It's an AGM, but I'm going to change it. You can go to AGM, you can go to SLI, which is regular conventional batteries. Different it, gel batteries, that does them all. So we're going to go to AGM, hit enter. Cranking amps, 280 cold cranking amps, CCA, cold cranking amps. This is bad, 190 cold cranking amps. See right there, it, it reads it and it tells you what it is and what it, Now, if you kept going, Okay, you can actually do, um, what do you call it there? Cranking. You, you, can, you can read the ohms. The percentage. Right there. So 67%. So this is a pretty cool charger. Now, I mean, uh, tester. You can also check um, cranking, engine cranking. And um, you can check your alternator with it. Which is really really cool comes in handy for that. It'll tell you functionality of that. Hook up a different battery here. Okay. This one's reading 12.41 volts. It's an AGM. Error. That means that my terminal is loose. Which is what they should be because it's corroded. Battery charge, no. Enter. Then it just says recharge, retest. That means it's potentially good, but it's only pumping out 167 cold cranking amps. Now this battery here is actually probably a lot less. So let's um let's try this again. Oh yeah, cranking, you can check it when it's cranking. You have to reset it after that if you're not cranking it. Oh, that does the draw test as well. Yeah, I get the cranking thing again. I hit the wrong button, there we go. So cold cranking amps, hit enter, and then you can change it to whatever you want. I'm gonna put it at 200. It goes in five volt uh, intervals, so five, you know, amps there. 
Enter. And then it says, okay, recharge. So this is a good battery. If it's at 200, okay? And it tells you it's 80% state of charge. Right there, 82%. So you can actually get the percentage of what the battery's value is um, as opposed to when it was new. I don't know what the actual cranking amps are on that battery, but I was just trying to do that that way so I can give you guys an example of a, um, that's called a conductance tester, in case you're wondering. And you can check your crank engine cranking, you can check your engine alternators, you can check it all with this and it's a really really cool tool and it's made by mac and this right here retails for about a hundred bucks and it's well worth the money they all make one snap on's got one it looks, they all look the same too launch makes one but they're all around a hundred bucks you can get them at harbor freight not mac ones but you know they don't have to be mac they're all the same so and that's pretty much it and as always i use um to when i'm doing uh to find out what the hole is I use my general, um, we call it the Caliper Vernia. That's the one I use right there, the Altitech. And um, that one comes in a nice little case. Comes in a nice little case. You guys have seen me use this one before. I use this thing all the time religiously. Comes with an extra battery and the tool to change the battery. And um, has all kinds of stuff with it, you know, like information wise this thing does fractions millimeters all that stuff um fractions millimeters and um inches you know so it does all that type of stuff and it comes in a nice hard case there's general on it so that's pretty much all i have for you guys right now now i gotta clean up my mess and uh we call it to upload all these videos i've been doing and uh get crack a lacking so thank you guys for hanging out with me Thank you for watching, and um, if you guys have any questions or comments, um, by all means, please send them my way. There's a, uh, I know a lot of my videos are pretty intense. You have to keep going back over and watching them. I'm trying to give you guys as much information that I have so you guys can fix your equipment properly and, um, and safely. So whenever you're dealing with batteries, always wear eye protection. Um, these are clean, dry batteries, but if your battery is wet, definitely wear gloves don't play around with getting burnt and stuff like that batteries will put holes in your clothes so it's not good for your skin all right and um that's pretty much what i got and this this tester right here can be used on 12 volts too and 24 volts you can use it on any battery you want um it just it's easier to use that on these little six volts because there's no other way to check them so and that right there will also give you a state of charge. So, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Any questions, any comments, by all means, please send them my way. Thank you guys for watching.